We are learning more about the Grand Rapids police officer that took the life of 26 year old Patrick Leoya. His name is Christopher Schur, and he joined the department in 2015 after studying criminal justice at Siena Heights University. Schur is now on administrative leave and has been stripped of his police powers after shooting and killing Leoya. Well, this is while state police continue the investigation. It all unfolded on April 4th after a traffic stop. Video shows there was a brief foot chase and that Leoya was shot in the back of the head while lying on the ground. Yesterday, Governor Whitmer made her first public comments about that deadly shooting. My heart breaks for the greater Grand Rapids community. There's a lot of pain. Um, the investigation is being done by the state police. I expect that to be closed soon and it'll be in the hands of the prosecutor and that's the, 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 the place where the next steps are determined. And that will be the Kent County prosecutor that will decide if charges will be issued against Officer Schur. A Roseville woman is not charged with shooting and killing another woman from Trenton in the doorway of a Detroit home. Police say 24 year old Denise Golder got into an argument with a woman at a home on Vaughn Street on the city's west side. This was back on April 16th. Investigators say that when the argument escalated, Golder pulled out a gun and fired into the doorway of the home, shooting the victim in the head. She's now charged with second degree murder. And Detroit police are on the hunt for a person of interest after busting an alleged chop shop on the city's west side. Officers say that they found two Ram pickup trucks, a Chevy Corvette, and a Cadillac Escalade at a shipping container site on Monday night on Fullerton Avenue. The vehicles are valued at $450,000. Police believe that parts of those vehicles that were stolen were being shipped out of state.